dolls, it's Emmeline. So I'm starting this vlog off in the car because um, today Brianna and I are hanging out. I'm not really sure what's gonna be in this vlog. Um, I know it's gonna involve vintage shopping and I am working with Poshmark on this video. So I'm gonna be selling more clothes. I'm kind of hoping I can find some vintage clothes at the antique store maybe um, to put up on my Poshmark because the last time I did it, the, all the vintage clothes sold out like almost instantly and I keep getting, um, you guys asking me to put more up so I'm hoping I can find some vintage clothes for you guys. So that's pretty much it. Um, I also wanted to mention that I want to really try to post two videos a week and I want to post like one normal video and then one vlog so I just need help with what type of vlogs you guys want to see I used to do like what I eat in a day videos and you guys really like those I haven't done them in forever so I could do something like that I could do um like a week in my life type of video or if there's any other type of vlog that you guys want to see let me know let me know if you guys like that idea if you like vlogs and um want me to do that but anyway I'm gonna stop rambling, wait for Brie to get here, and then we'll go vintage shopping. Hey, we're going in. Brianna's is here. Hi. You guys, look at this little thing. Like Wilbur would sit here and chai, and they would okay, swing no, together. They would fit in this. <laughs> <laughs> this she wanted to do from the parent trap scene. Look how cute this little teacup. Oh. This looks like me. It kind of does. And this looks like Wait. you. Wait, that one really looks like you. Wait, put it closer to your face. This is Ew. you. Ew. There's a glare. That this is, is me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Monica's section. Look how cute. Look at all these purses. I have one that's like so similar to this. It's the same like little floral pattern and like everything, but I don't know what it is. There's something slightly different about the pattern, but it's so similar to this one. It's so cute. I want like Selena Gomez's length. My hair, uh, like look how much my hair grew already. I know, I it really like so it short fast. though. I want her length, like right there. But I can't cut I don't her think hair. I trust Brianna cutting it, so I'm gonna I wait till Connor trust. comes over. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till he comes over next week to do it. You guys, look at all, look at this. <gasps> look how oh. cute. Oh <gasps> flowers. If you stuck with the 70s theme. Oh my gosh. Oh, the story of the nutcracker. How cute. Let me keep for Gabby. Yeah. She's like the first person I think of with the nutcracker. Me too. This is so pretty. Oh, he's cute. You guys, look at all of this Christmas. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, there's a little Easter. Oh, man. Oh, this is so cute. You guys, look at all this. So cute. Look at that, it looks like grease. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh look, it's Connor playing me a Valentine song. <laughs> Is that your hair or a hat? It's a hat and then the hair's at the bottom. Oh. No, I wonder what they look like. That, like next to that, you can kind of make it look I know. Different. I kind of want to see. I wish it was a couch, like a little seat. Yeah. You should get like a velvet. 
What's that's that what mean? I want, like something that looks like that, but it's velvet. Yeah, like that color and velvet on that. These kind of remind me of like um, the Golden Girls-ish. Oh, that's cute. All right, guys, so I was thinking about it and I'm gonna get this because it is so cute. Oh, this is pretty too. This is so this is Monica. Yeah. You guys know I love her section and I'm gonna get this from her. It's so cute. See how like a Is it cute? <laughs> <laughs> it's so adorable. Yeah. I just got back home and look how cute little Billy is. Oh, this is what he does when I get home. He stretches. I miss Wilbur so much whenever I'm not home. next day I have my tea this is the green tea with coconut from Harney and Sons it is so so good so I have been doing some major deep cleaning of my house over the past few weeks and I've been watching tons of like minimalist documentaries so it's been really inspiring me to like get rid of everything so um, I'm gonna go through my closet which I will show you guys in a second because it is a disaster Everything I've been cleaning out from my house, I've kind of just been shoving into my closet. So it's like kind of embarrassing of how bad it is. But I have a lot of clothes and things that I want to sell on Poshmark. So I just want to like go through all of this stuff and then um, I'll show you guys what I'm going to list. And then in a little bit, I'm also going to go to another antique shop. So um, I'm going to try to get some more vintage clothes to put up on Poshmark for you guys. But... Um, to help me get in the mood for cleaning, um, I am listening to one of my favorite records, which is the Over the Rainbow record by Julie Garland. It is so cute. The record cover itself is so adorable. And actually where I got this record is where I'm going to be going today. So I'm hoping I can find some new ones. I'm starting to run out of room on my record shelf. So I'm thinking I'm going to need to either invest in like a second one or maybe get like some sort of like crate to put here. I think I can still fit still like a decent amount. Like they could probably be squeezed like really closely together. Um, if I maybe just arrange them a little bit better, but I need to go through this because I just feel like there are so many records and I don't even know what I have at this point, but it's just so fun to me like buying new records. If you guys want, um, another record collection video I could definitely do that I have two up on my channel but I feel like the last one I posted like no one it got didn't get sent to people subscription boxes and I feel like no one realized that I had posted it so I could always do another one for you guys because I've gotten tons of new records over the past um, few months and I'm gonna probably get more today so let's show you guys my closet it is so embarrassing you guys like Oh my gosh. Over here is the vintage part of the closet. And I really want to go through this. I might make a separate video just called like going through my vintage collection. Because I want to really like simplify this. I just feel like I have too much stuff. And it's fun to collect stuff. But I feel like it also gets to the point where like it just sits. And I would rather... Um, have like one of you guys have this stuff that way you guys can enjoy it more than just sitting in a cabinet so if you guys want a video of me going through all this stuff and then maybe like putting stuff for sale online let me know because I would definitely do that all right so I'm gonna do a little update so so far this box bag and this box are stuff for um a garage sale they're just kind of like older clothes and stuff like that that like I don't really want to put on Poshmark um, then I just have some like random things over here I got to figure out what to do with. And then this is stuff I want to sell so far, um, on Poshmark. Um, I have like some really cute things. I have like these Nike, um, the, the, like the Nike Pro Shorts. Um, these are really good for like cheerleading and sports and stuff like that. These ones I actually never wore. I have some cute Juicy Couture. Um, pajama shorts. 
I have these leggings, this pair, and then this floral pair from Airy. These are my favorite leggings ever. And I just have too many pairs of them, but I, I've mentioned this in a vlog maybe like a couple years ago. These things are like the softest things you will ever put on your body. They are so amazing. So I'm gonna put those on. Um, I have like a sweater dress. I have this shirt or this sweater you guys were asking about. The one from Forever 21 and like it ties on the wrist. It's super cute. Um, I feel like I wore it enough. So I'm gonna put this on Poshmark. I have this, which I always get so many questions about where I got it. So I figured I'd put it on Poshmark because again, I feel like I got enough use out of it and I know that you guys are always wanting this. This is the reindeer onesie. It is like the cutest thing in the world. It is just, it's so adorable. Also, I'm going to add this really cute um, oversized denim jacket from Brandy Melville. And then I have this really cute bodysuit from Victoria's Secret I'm going to add. Yay, we can see my closet floor. This feels so nice. There's nothing better than cleaning out your closet and being able to see the floor. I still wanna go through like all of these boxes. I already went through them once this year, but I wanna go through them again because um, I'm sure there's more stuff I could probably get rid of. Um, I feel like I'm just like on this huge like cleaning out spree and it just feels so nice. So um, anyway, I'm going to put some clothes on and get ready and my mom is coming over soon and we're going to go antique shopping. All right guys, so my mom just texted me that she's here so I gotta like do this super quick. Um, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. This top is from Forever 21, it's super cute, it ties. These are the Jamie jeans from Topshop. I'm obsessed with these, they just like fit so nicely and they also like hit at your ankle, which I love. And then um, for hair and makeup, I just did light makeup as always. And then I just put like a few little curls in my hair, but I have no idea what shoes I'm gonna wear. Probably rain boots or something cause it's really snowy out. So my alarm is going off, but I'm gonna show you my shoes super quick. I just put on my hunters and I need to clean these because they are kind of messy, but yeah. All right guys, so I'm with my mom. Say hi. hi. So we just got to the cute little cafe. So I will bring you guys along and show you it. It's so adorable inside. Everything is like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just really cute. All right guys, so this is the inside. This wallpaper is so cute. I don't know what kind of coffee to get. The chocolate cherry, I feel like it's good. Maybe I should just do decaf, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with decaf. All right, so my mom got chocolate cherry coffee. I'm gonna try it. Mm, it tastes like with those cherry cordial mm -hmm. things. Ooh, I like that. Looks like you want some in the cup? Or you can just sip, sip in it out I'll just here. sip a little. They're just so cute in here. Everything is so Valentine's-y. Happy. I feel like it's like a mix of the TV show Friends and um, Steel Magnolias. All right, so we just got to a little consignment shop. So I will show you guys around in here before we go to the antique shop. Cute little pillowcase. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. It's so cute. Yeah. You guys, I found these cups. Um, Tori got these for me. She got me two, but there's like a whole set of them here. <gasps> Look at all of this pink. Ooh. So cute. That's cute. 
What happened? This is a good price for me. Oh, it's cute. Those are really pretty. What do we have on those? What? Oh, these are pretty. This little candle holder is so cute. So I just got back and I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I found. So um, I guess I'll just get into it, I guess. <laughs> um, maybe I'll put the camera right here. Let's see, does that work? All right, I guess that's fine. So I'll show you guys first the records that I got. Um, so the first record that I got is The Sound of Music. I do have this one already. Um, I got it from an antique store, and I think it was like, I want to say it might have even been like $10. Um, it's a little bit different than this one I can show you. This is the original one I got. It was like $10, um, and it doesn't open up or anything. It did come with like this little booklet that has like a bunch of things, which I think is really cool. But I was super sad because when I got home and played it, one of the songs was like scratched at that spot, so it doesn't really play well. So this one was only a dollar, so I figured I would get it, um, and I guess just hold on to both of them, or maybe just like replace this record with that one, or I don't really know. We'll see what I'll do with that. So the next one I got is Mantanovi. This is Romantic Melodies. The main reason why I got it is because it has the song Moonlight Serenade, which is like one of my favorite songs. I love it so much. Um, I'm not really sure if i know any of the other songs on it i don't think so maybe when i hear them i will but i thought this was cute then i found the disneyland wizard of oz record so i'm really really excited for this um i feel like it's gonna be really cute to listen to these if you guys want a video of me like playing all the records um and like showing you the newer ones that i've recently got then just let me know and i will definitely do that this one I'm super excited for. This is the Accordion de Paris. So this is like a Paris, um, it says music of the French cafe. And apparently it appears that it's just like French cafe kind of music. And then this one is the movie South Pacific. I feel like I've seen it, but I can't remember. But look how cute the cover is. And then the back of it, it says um, smash hits from the music band, which I actually have that record. So I'm a little confused as to exactly what this is, but sometimes I just get records just because they have like cute covers and they're just kind of fun to like put out or take pictures of. And all these records were only a dollar each. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Um, I don't think I know any of these songs, but um, once I play it, I'll see if I do, but I'm super excited. So I found some fun things for Poshmark. So the first thing I found, and this is super cute. I'm really tempted to keep this for myself, but I'm not going to. The reason why I think this is really nice is because if you guys can see the print on it, it's like the cutest little print ever, but it's also like a silk, um, pillowcase and these are super good for your hair and for your skin then the next thing I got were these hangers every time I show um, these hangers on like in my videos and stuff you guys are always asking where I get them from because they're so cute I just always find them at antique shops so 
these are the cute little hangers I'll put on Poshmark for you guys. Um, so this I've worn in so many of my videos and I'm really sad to part with this. But I feel like because I've worn it in so many of my vintage videos, I probably shouldn't wear it in any more because I feel like I just keep wearing the same outfit over and over again because I just love this so much. It might be kind of hard to see right now, but it's pastel blue and pink and has little flowers. The sleeves are all ruffled and it buttons all the way down. This has been in like most of my housewife videos or 1950s morning routine videos, but I am going to part with it and put it on Poshmark because I'm sure one of you guys would probably get so much use out of it because it's so cute. So then I also have this cute little retro bed jacket. It's pink and I'll put that on Poshmark for you guys. If you guys don't know what Poshmark is, basically it's an app on your phone, it's free, and you can um, upload your clothes, sell them, and it's really cool because if you guys wanna make some extra money or if you guys just have old clothes that you don't want anymore and you wanna get new clothes, it's kind of like you put your old clothes up, get money for it, get the money, go buy new clothes. So it's really great. They have tons of good brands like Nike, Victoria's Secret, Michael Kors, um, Lululemon, all that kind of stuff. So it's really good and it's super easy to use too. Um, I'll show you guys. I'll like upload one of these things and show you guys how you do. If you guys want to post something to Poshmark, you just go to the Poshmark app. Down here you just hit sell and you just very easily just take a cute picture of what you're selling. And you can just take um, as many as you want. You could do like little close-ups if you want. And then you would just write what you're selling. And then you would just put in the category. So I'm just gonna put these in accessories. One size. And then you just add in your price that you wanna sell them for. And then you just hit list. And then it's super easy. This is my closet. It's at Sweet Emmeline. Yeah, but this is my Poshmark. All of the other vintage clothes I put up already sold. Um, most of the stuff on here that I have is actually already sold. So definitely if you guys want any of these vintage items, go quick before they sell out because last time I think they sold out within a half hour or so. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'll have a link um, down below for everything that's gonna be on Poshmark. Um, I'll have my Poshmark username and the link for my shop. And if you guys have a Poshmark, then definitely link your username um, down below. That way I can follow your closets and like your closets. And if you guys don't have a Poshmark, then you guys should definitely make one because it's really fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun vintage shopping. And like I said before, if you guys have any video requests, please let me know because I'm kind of struggling right now for ideas. I feel like I'm in this weird drought of ideas and I just need some inspiration. So let me know if you guys have any video requests and I would love to do them. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!